The boat is waiting for you. Thank They're you ready. Much. They're good Thanks, to talk Jason. to you. Thank you very much, Andy. Thank you. That's Ben Kent. Good stuff, Jason. Thank you. Great hat as well. Only one def one dead heat so far in the history of the boat race, and that was back in 1877. Now, as we know, rowing can promote fitness, it promotes focus, teamwork, confidence as well, but it's not part of your average school sports day. That is bound to change because there is a new project that is trying to spread the appeal of rowing amongst state schools here in London, and so far it's been a huge success. So Future Blues is a project all about giving young people around the Thames an opportunity. An opportunity to realise their potential through rowing and take the skills they learn out on the river and apply that to the rest of their lives. I've lived around here so I've seen the people rowing the river and I'm thinking, oh, I'd love to do that one day. And then uh, we get the school saying, oh, we're going rowing. And I was quite happy about that. Well, I was quite scared at first because I thought, you know, we'd, we'd have to get into it properly and we'd have to be fast and competitive. But really and truly, they took it at our own pace and we learned properly and they was, they was always supportive of us if we made a mistake. The biggest benefit for me is it keeps me fit, it keeps me healthy, and I have fun with my friends on the water while staying fit and healthy. The biggest benefit of rowing is the thought of being with people I might not know, being there for them, them being for me. Uh, we go on open water, we try our best and come back, not with our heads down, but our heads high. I never read before the first time I came here, so it's a new experience and it was like a fun like opportunity for us. It's really important for state schools to be involved in rowing because of the unique benefits you get from the sport, like teamwork, like focus, um, like confidence. Um, and so I think it's really important that we're able to offer those opportunities to the state school sector. Future Blues to me is personally very, very important. I've seen firsthand that actually participation in sports helps children from disadvantaged backgrounds to close the educational gap. And many of them are here today. There they are. Uh, with the Fulham Reach Boat Club and they have taken in over 1,200 children from 15 state schools and plans next year to attract even more youngsters from all the boroughs along the course. And Catherine, you know all about this, don't you? Yeah, I was very privileged to be asked by Steve, who we just saw that video, to open the Boathouse in October back in 2014. And the whole, the whole purpose of the Boat Club being created was a, a link with the London Borough, but also the developers to say, if we're going to build this development here, we're going to make sure that, that kids from any background, any state school can come and get a go on the water and take part in something that will develop them. Now, alongside Catherine, you may have noticed, we have another guest. This is Maddie Badcott, who won the very first women's boat race staged here on the Tideway in 2015, won again the following year as president yeah. of Oxford. Not bad to be a part of history, is it? Incredible, really, really incredible. I think all of us that year were so excited to be part of it and really just felt lucky that we'd come along at the exact right time. I mean, the women's boat race has been going since 1927, so 2015 was a long way. Um, yeah, it took a long time to happen, yes. indeed. But how did you get started in rowing? So I started rowing when I was about 14, kind of by accident because no one in my family has ever rowed before. Um, I was the summer between year 9 and year 10, and my mum literally wanted me to get out of the house in the summer holidays. <laughs> Found this course on the internet at my local rowing club, which is the Lee Rowing Club in Hackney. Um, so it's a very different river to here. It's pretty much a canal. Um, yeah, there's obviously some, some shots of it now. Um, it flows all the way from Tottenham in one end to Old Ford near the Olympic Stadium, the other end. Um, it's, yeah, it's a very different river, but I had a great time then as well. And Helen, actually, you had a very interesting route into rowing as well. Yeah, I did. I got into a talent ID scheme. And it's, I mean, this whole project is something I'm really passionate about. I worked as a PE teacher and none of the schools I ever went to were rowing schools. I never would have got into it unless it was through this talent ID scheme. And a lot of that, I feel, was luck. Whereas now these children have the accessibility and the availability to go and row on a river which is just on their doorstep. And you think, you know, one of the most famous rivers in the world and, and obviously absolutely crucial to, to the UK and always has been. Well, with that in mind and getting involved in rowing, here's Radzi with more. <laughs> Thank you very much, Claire. We're joined by two people who also got joined by rowing in a very unique way. Skylar, start with yourself. How did you start with rowing? I started rowing as part of this programme called Breaking Barriers. It's the next week we would do a sport. Our sport was rowing and that's how I got into rowing. 
Well, and you've got a very interesting story yourself, my friend. Yeah, so I was homeschooled for a year and uh, during that year I thought I, I had something to do and being a six foot 12 year old, I thought uh, rowing might be the sport for me. So I, had, I gave it a go and I loved it. We got a little bit of dropout as you were speaking, but just to be absolutely clear here, how old are you now? I'm 13 now. And how tall are you now? I'm 6'2". I feel very inadequate stood next to you, my friend. And how much do you actually enjoy rowing? How much do you enjoy being a future blue? I really enjoy rowing because it helps me deal with stress, especially seasons, and I just love it really a lot. It is one of those sports which Oh, I'm so sorry. That is live television for you. Break up on the camera there, but great stuff there from Radzi. And so lovely to hear the enthusiasm of those two getting into rowing, and particularly the advantage of being that tall. Actually, makes me think of Will Geffen, who was, I think, six foot by the time he was 11, and now is six foot 10 and the tallest rower ever to compete in the boat race and here for the second year running. Now, if you want to get into rowing, here's one way you can do it. Everybody has to start somewhere. BBC Get Inspired will help you to get involved and get active. Go to bbc.co.uk slash getinspired to find our activity guides and activity finder. Enter your postcode, the sport you'd like to try, or just click search to find out how to get involved near you. So where will you start? Get active, get involved, get inspired. And when 